Over the weekend, we had two storms right in a row that came in and laid down about 15 to 20 inches up here at the ranch. The long-term plan was to always get a plow truck. But while I'm always searching for deals, the absolute worst time to buy a plow truck's in the middle of a snowstorm. That being said, I found a plow truck about two hours away from me that had a good working plow on it and the truck needed a little bit of work. I've used the excavator so far this winter just to tighten things up right around the house and to keep the road up to the house clear. But with the snow getting as deep as it is, it's time to take things into consideration for the long term. Now we never know the things that we set in motion with decisions in our past. But ironically, my biggest concern was getting out of Utah and back into Idaho without getting pulled over. I don't know why I'm so afraid of this. I guess I feel that Utah police officers tend to look at Idaho license plates a little different. I just drove about 100 miles to pick up this old beater uh, 75 Chevy truck with a plow on it. Everything works. It's rusted just about everywhere it can be rusted. I have a bit of a soft spot in my uh, heart for these old square body Chevys. I've only had about 12 of them. But the hydraulics work on the plow and it runs. That's really all I care about. So now I just got to get back up to the ranch without getting pulled over and uh, put her to work. The truck itself is a 75 Chevy 1500. And I've had just a few of these trucks. This is the before and after of a truck that I paid $1,500 for, put a couple grand into and sold for about $10,000. I love these old trucks. This particular truck was a crew cab long bed that I turned into a crew cab short bed, then put a Cummins diesel in it. I've built that exact same truck three different times. I just love these old square body Chevys, but I'm not sure if this one's worth saving but it is worth making into a good, dependable plow truck. A couple of months back, before the weather got bad, I went through my truck like I usually do about this time of year. I checked the differential fluids, transfer case, transmission, greased the U-joints. So I noticed the front U-joint on the front drive shaft was a little bit sloppy, so I replaced it. As I was replacing it, I also noticed that the upper U-joint on that same drive shaft was a little bit sloppy, but I greased it up thinking it would be fine. Because there was a skid plate that had to be removed and I didn't want to take the time to do that, that led to the U-joint breaking when I had the snow plow truck on a trailer behind me minutes away from the ranch. That single decision turned into probably the hardest day I've ever had.
When that U-joint broke, I then had to use my winch to try and winch myself up through this snow to get to the ranch. I built the old rusty red Ford truck to get me out of just such a predicament. The very first year that we owned the land, I got stuck for two hours with Reed, and I decided that would never happen again. So I built the old Ford truck to get me out of just those situations. It's got a worn Xeon 10 winch up front. It's got aggressive tires on it. It's got basically all the tools I need in the toolbox to get me out of just about any situation I get into. But the bottom line is, as soon as that front drive shaft broke, I was literally stuck. I wonder if the plow truck leaked power steering fluid. I didn't have snow boots on. I didn't have bibs. I had my coat and three burritos and a half drank bottle of water. It took me four hours to get about a mile and a half up the two and a half miles of road. I had my work boots on. I didn't have snow boots. My pants and boots got wet. My socks were soaked, but I just kept working. I kept telling myself if I get up to the property, everything will be fine. In the back of my head, I knew I didn't have any dry firewood inside. I knew I didn't have any more food, but I did have water. At some point during the day, Ruger ate my three burritos, so he was good to go, but I got hungry. The end result is about eight o'clock last night, Cedar had to come up and get me and pull me out. And I left the plow truck, I left my trailer, and I left the excavator somewhere along the road up to our ranch. I couldn't sleep last night thinking about my stuff. And in the back of my head I kept thinking, is this road going to make or break me? The good news is I got up this morning, replaced the U-joints in my truck, drove right straight up to the ranch, got my trailer out of the road, got the plow truck up to the property, and yesterday is a bad memory. Okay, I've got the plow truck up on jack stands. Um, I think the jury's still out on whether or not I'm going to throw a whole lot of money at this thing. I just don't flat have extra money to, to mess with this, um, but I do... I did recognize the value in that, um, just the plow alone. Um, I'm, I, I've been considering putting it on my truck, uh, but I'd have to take that front bumper and that winch off there to make that work. And, and then on top of that, I'm getting the itch to build another truck. And if I build another truck, I'll sell the old uh, rusty red. Um, but I'm not going to do that until the shop's done. So more than anything, I would like to have a designated plow truck just sitting ready to go to work when it's needed. This is going to be dependable. Um, I'm even thinking about, you know, welding up the spider gears in the back uh, axle just to make sure this thing's got power to both wheels. Um, but I don't know. I've got a little bit of a soft spot um, for these old trucks, but this truck would literally have to go down to the frame, and I'm not even sure if the frame is is good enough. But uh, I've only built uh, built and sold about 12 of these trucks. These trucks are my favorite trucks. Very first truck I ever had after me and Cedar got together was a a 77. So um, tomorrow I'm going to get it back up here and put about a half a day into it, just trying to get the chains on it, bleed the brakes, put some fluids in it. The good news is the engine seems to be great. Uh, there's something going on with the hubs with the four-wheel drive. 
uh, but uh, for the most part, you know, it is what I what I thought it was, which is basically just a running and driving truck uh, that happens to have a snowplow on the front of it. It's probably worth more than the truck is. So anyway, I'll get up here tomorrow and and get moving forward.